A hotel and conference center project that's been in the works for several years is moving closer to breaking ground, according to Fort Valley City leaders. Kayla Solomon with an update tonight on the Fort Valley Hotel and Conference Center. Any new business is great for the town. Javier Rodriguez is the manager at Tapatio's Restaurant in Fort Valley. It's great for taxes. It's great for, I mean, just everybody in general for the city and for the people. He said he's heard the chatter about a hotel and conference center in Fort Valley, and he supports the potential new customers coming to town. The perks would be having people come in to eat from the hotels. So that's a big plus. We'll, we'll get more customers off of that. Rodriguez says having a movie theater would sell itself. I think it would be definitely even better for all the people in the surrounding, all the surrounding little towns like Roberto, Reynolds, Butler, instead of people having to drive half an hour more than what they already have to do to get to Fort Valley. But Rodriguez and many other people in the city want to know when this hotel will be built. Phase one and phase two studies are being uh, conducted as we speak by an engineering firm. A previous layout made by developers had the hotel, conference center and movie theater combined into one large building. But Mayor Barbara Williams says that has changed. They are negotiating on some property uh, back behind the site to put the movie theater, which means that it might not be on the same site as the hotel, but back behind, uh, behind that site. Williams says it will now be a Wyndham Hotel, and she hopes to break ground this year. If that doesn't happen, then I'm going to go and buy me a tiller, and I'm going to go break some ground and plant something out there on the site. In Fort Valley, Kayla Solomon, 13 WMAZ News. Uh, you tell them, Mayor. Project will still be located along Bluebird Avenue on the site of the old Peach County Hospital.